Okay, let's switch it on. As it boots up, the next thing it will do is sync with the memory cards that are fitted to the unit. There we go, and it takes us into the menu system of Ghost Arc. So let's start um, at the first uh, point, which is uh, the main display, if you like. And what we're looking at here is uh, the multifunctions of Ghost Arc. And we have uh, temperature displayed there. It's a really clear, nice display as well. Then we have the pressure, environment pressure, and of course, EMF milligors. Okay, you might have noticed the lights across the top. If you're familiar with K2, then it's a fairly similar design. And uh, of course, all the, all the experiments that people like to do with K2, you can also do with Ghost Arc. And there we are, the lights that everyone loves so much. You can turn them on or off so that they don't take out your uh, night vision or become a hindrance to your investigation. Ghost Arc is all about putting tools in your hand. Um, and it certainly, it certainly does that. Let's go through some of these things. So the, ex the external speaker simply plugs in. Let's have a look at the, uh, oh, let's turn the speaker on. There we are. Let's have a look at the radio sweeps, the spirit box or ghost box, whichever you like to call it. You've got a combination of different wavelengths that you can use. There's uh, AM, FM, and long wave, LW. You can go through and use those individually, or you can use them in pairs, AM, FM, long wave and FM, AM and long wave. To change the speed of the sweep, it's quite simple, the, the knob on the right, you can slow it down by 50 millisecond increments. Or speed it up, depending on which way you turn the dial. What's nice to notice is that all your readings for temperature and uh, environment pressure and milligors are still displayed so you can, this truly is a multifunction unit. To do an EVP, switch it to EVP mode and simply press record. <coughs> Hello? Is anyone can hear the unit is fitted with a microphone which will record at 6 Hz. This unit is specifically designed for EVP. An example would be on the digital dictaphones. Uh, a lot of them will use filters, etc., to filter out background noise. Now with Ghost Arc, those or none of those filters are in place, so it's an ideal piece of kit for EVP. Then on the menu system, you'll notice uh, your EVP recording is uh, appeared. Plug in your speaker to hear it. And there we are, it plays. But what you also have is the feature on here, not only does it play your EVP, but you can also slow that down or reverse the recording while you're listening to it. Another nice feature is that when you're recording EVP, um, the line out is live. So if you wanted to plug headphones into that and have live monitoring, you can do so. So let's look at sound traps and how that works. In this case, I'm using a bit of bubble wrap. Simply make a sound trap by recording as I have. You see it, it appears in the menu. You can choose whether it plays non-stop or just for a minute or just for two minutes etc. Okay, play that. Hit record. And what will happen is that sound trap will be played through the speaker and you are then live to then conduct your EVP session over the top of that noise. Now you can have a variety of different sound traps. Once you've recorded your EVP using the sound trap, you'll notice that it, it on the menu it notes that it's also a sound trap recording and it says EVP plus noise. The nice feature is if to transfer your data to a computer for closer analysis, simply remove the memory card, plug it into your computer, a look at the memory card and you'll notice that all the files you've recorded are there in WAV, uncompressed WAV files. Excellent stuff. So that's a very, very fast overview of Ghost Dark.